Hey, you guys! Thanks for joining me on another journey. You might be wondering, we're at the Roaring Railroad in California. doing real tourist stuff now. We're gold panning at the Roaring Railroad. It's like a... I don't think you have to put a lot of dirt in there. A hand scrub. I know. We'll start with a lot. Work okay. from there. Show us how it's done, April. I don't I think know you gotta get some water. I don't know how it's done. How is it done? You, you just wanna, you wanna get rid of the big rocks. Not this fine sand, the fine sand well, that you want to keep. That doesn't work that way. Yeah, it does. If you, you put water it. in there? Yeah, you, you don't have that much water in it. So how do you get rid of it? Here, come here and hold the camera, I'll do it. You just pick it out? No! Watch. How do you... See, when I do that, the big stuff That's goes what out. That's what you're wanting is the big stuff, but you have to be finesse it. You have to finesse it. That's not finessing it? No, you're just dumping it. How do Water? I do it? Why, why, hang on, stop. Hold this and I'll show you the trick. I mean, I haven't done it. I've seen it. So, I'm not an expert. What we got to do is we got to dig down deep. Get this whole fistful of dirt like this. Okay? Wash your hand off. And then we're going to slowly... Finesse it. See how I'm doing that? No, you're Just, letting the little bits go. You don't worry about that. I, it's going to have gold <laughs> left behind only. You're not doing anything different than I was doing. No, I'm finessing it. You're finessing it? Yeah, watch. You'll see. There'll be gold in mine. Okay, show me. Show me how it's done. Teacher Wayne. Cowboy Wayne. I should have been a miner. Watch. I'll have some gold here in a minute. I'm gonna have enough to make a diamond ring. Awesome. Or a Mr. T starter kit. Right. <laughs> or enough to fund your. Go you travel on the cheap. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna get that much. For those of you watching, leave a comment below about uh, what you think about Wayne's gold panning abilities. <laughs> I'm very curious to know if he's de doing it more right than I was doing it. You know? We're going to say, I hit gold. Okay, it's really not, it's pebbles. But, I'm a lazy miner and I'm quitting. <laughs> Gold is heavy, so it's going to stick to the bottom of the pan. It's even heavier than water. Oh. I didn't know that. And when you get down to just having sand in your pan, that's when you start looking for the gold because the gold is found in the sand. Gotcha. Okay, we're going to put the cap on. And there is your Roaring Camp souvenir. Oh my goodness. We're going to make a Mr. T starter kit. <laughs> Don't buy the house yet. <laughs> <laughs> Watch 
Still operating today. Still running, still running nice. A lot of work to get for this way. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. And you guys run her every day too, huh? More or less. Yeah. We have this and our other Shea number seven are the two main engines. Okay. Sometimes one of them will take a lot of the run. Sometimes we'll alternate, depending on how much work needs to be done to which engine. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Usually burn oil. Okay. Yeah. And the Great Southern Pacific Railroad was an oil fired road from 1890 all the way to the end of the scene in 1957. We better move before we get oil.
old covered bridges, man. There's not many of these left in the country. 1892. This covered bridge was built in 1892. Hello, April! I need food. I am starving. This is so cool. This is cool. This deli, just down the road from the Roaring Railroad. Grab us some dinner. Barbecue tips, sandwiches for like eight bucks. Looks pretty good. Oh my god. Mmm. That's legit. So I got the spicy and she got the mild. Spicy, spicy. I'm sure it is. But it's good. Alright guys, I wanted to thank you for watching my video all the way to the end. If you would, do me a favor and share it with a friend. Hit that like button and go ahead and make a comment. I'd like to talk to you and see what you think about the uh, Roaring Railroad. It's a fun place whether you're a kid or an adult. And I definitely suggest coming out here and spending a couple hours.